Hello and welcome to OpenCV Basics. This is George again. Today we're going to be looking at loading in images, showing images, and of course saving those images out after we've modified them. Um, we're not going to cover anything too complicated. We're only going to skim the top of controlling windows in this one because I'm going to have another quick video showing all those functions. I'm assuming you've already followed along from the previous video and you have a Visual Studio Express 2015 project open with some very basic OpenCV information up here just including it and of course using the, the uh, CV namespace to make things a little tighter on our coding. So first thing we need to do is load in an image. To load in an image you actually need one. In the last video I went ahead and loaded an image into our project directory but if you haven't done so go ahead and right click on your project go to open folder and file Explorer, and within here, add an image. In this case, a picture of me. Uh, what do we want to use for this? Let's use photos. Why not? Yay! Close that. Now in here, let's go ahead and load an image. Very easy. First thing to understand is that images are stored in matte objects. So let's create one first, and we'll call this test color. is equal to I am read. In this case, we need to pass it a string value. Mine was called me.jpg. And then we need a flag. Now the flags, flags are huge in OpenCV. They're everywhere. Uh, to access these flags, uh, typically they have a naming scheme, image, and there they are in IntelliSense. There are only a few of these flags you're probably going to end up using, mainly color, grayscale, or unchanged. But for our case, we're going to go ahead and load the color version of this, which happens to be unchanged. We'll just set it to color. The flags massage the image data before being stored in the matte object. So make sure you're using the right one for whatever you're trying to do. Let's go ahead and put a semicolon on there. And let's do, uh, let's show this image. We gotta show it. So I am show. With I am show, we're going to provide uh, a name for that window. Let's just call this color. And then we're gonna specify the matte object we're gonna show. So test color. We have to use wait key. Otherwise, the program finishes and closes everything, so wait key halts until a key has been pressed. And uh, let's go ahead and hit run. Yes. So you should get something like this, whatever your image happens to be. Close that out by hitting the space key, or any key really. So let's look at loading things up a little bit differently. So let's do mat test gray is equal to I am read. I'm going to bring in the same one again, so me.jpg, but we want to show that OpenCV can process things before you get them. And we're going to use grayscale this time. Let's do another I am show. So this is going to create two separate windows, just so you know. And we're going to do test gray. Hit the run button. Yes. And what you'll end up with are two images the grayscale version, and of course, the color version now. Go ahead and hit stop. So that's pretty easy. So the loading images is easy. Uh, doing the basics of showing images is very easy as well. What if you want to save an image? Now to do that, what you're actually going to do is I am, whew, if I can type properly, I am write. Write is incredibly easy. Um, it's going to take a file name. It's able to infer the, the type, basically, by that file name, by the way. And then you're going to specify, um, in the easiest version of this, you're just going to specify uh, the array that you plan on pushing out. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's call this uh, output gray. Dot, um, we'll stay with JPEG for now, even though I like PNGs better. And the object, the matte object we're pushing out, is going to be test gray. Now that's the easiest way to write things out. If hit the run button, yes. It's going to pop out both of those, of course. I'm just going to stop this, go back to my directory. So let's go to source files, excuse me, OpenCV template, properties. <laughs> wow, I'm not here. Uh, open folder in Explorer. And what you'll notice is that we now have a new JPEG file that's been written out. And there I am. Woohoo! 